Okie dokie. In this problem, we are also finding the difference quotient for some function, but in this case, they don't give us A or H values. So we're basically trying to find a difference quotient expression in terms of A and H. For continuity's sake, I'll call G of X F of X so that it matches our um, original difference quotient format. So our first step is finding F of A. And so how do we find f of a if we don't know what a is equal to? It's essentially just doing the same process. We are going to take whatever's inside the parentheses, in this case a, and plug it in for x. So f of a is just a a squared plus 6a minus 5. And that's it. So then our next step is finding f of a plus h. Again, we don't have A or H values. So whatever's, in, uh, so whatever's inside the parentheses here, A plus H, we will plug all of that into where we see X. So the biggest thing is when you plug in A plus H in for X, just make sure to keep parentheses around A plus H. So this is F of A plus H, but we don't want to go ahead and plug... Um, it in to the difference quotient yet. Yeah, we want to expand everything we have here the biggest thing one of the common uh, mistakes in this problem is Expanding a plus h squared. It won't be Just a squared plus h squared It instead will be what we get when we literally do a plus h times a plus h when we do this, what changes is we end up having to foil this all out, which ends up giving us three terms, or really four terms that become three terms, um, but nonetheless, there it's not just two terms. So when we expand this, we get 8 on the outside, and then a squared plus a h plus h a plus h squared. So really, a h and h a, I'll go ahead and just call both of those a h. So really, we have two AHs. All right, so this is what we should see when we square A plus H in this case. And so maybe a, a nice trick to remember is it's always the first term squared, so A squared. It's always the last term squared, so H squared. And then it's always the two terms, so A times H times 2, so 2 AH. All right, let's keep going. We want to distribute the 6 to the A and the H. So 6A plus 6H and then minus 5. So the last thing left to do with this is distribute the 8. So 8A squared plus 16AH plus 8H squared plus 6A plus 6H minus 5. So this expanded uh, expression, again, is f of a plus h. So we are going to plug this in for f of a plus h. We'll plug in this for f of a, which is there, and then we'll divide it all by h. So the difference quotient will be 8a squared plus 16ah plus 8h squared plus 6a plus 6h minus 5, and then we'll subtract f of a, which is this. So make sure to keep f of a in parentheses when you subtract it. And then we're dividing this all by h. So it looks crazy right now, but the super nice thing that will always happen is all these terms from f of a should cancel. So because we're subtracting or negating all these terms, we basically have minus 8a squared, which cancels with this 8a squared. We basically have 6a canceling out with a negative 6a. And then negative uh, 5 cancels with a positive 5. And this becomes positive 5 because you distribute the negative to that to make it positive. So all these terms should cancel with three of the terms from kind of the first half here. So then the question is, what are we left with? On top, we have 16AH 
plus 8h squared plus 6h all divided by h. So what we could do now is divide out an h from each of these top terms and then eliminate the h from the bottom or you could see it as factoring out one h from the top. So if we factor out an h from all the numerator terms, we're left with 16a plus 8h plus 6. And again, that's all divided by h still, so we just cancel out these h's, and this is what we're left with. So 16a plus 8h plus 6. 16a plus 8h plus 6. Break out the eraser to see that d is our answer. So what I'll try to do is one more example, but much faster. So let's do it. We are finding f of a first. Again, I'll call this g f of x. And so again, f of a is just the same function with a in place of the x's. So that's done. f of a plus h. We are plugging in a plus h where we see x. Keeping parentheses around a plus h. We want to expand this. a plus h squared is always the same thing. It's a squared plus 2ah plus h squared. And you'll see we got that in the last one. a squared plus 2ah plus h squared. So that's kind of nice, that consistency there. So plus a plus h minus 5. We want to distribute the 8. 8a eight squared plus 16 a h plus 8 h squared plus a plus h minus 5. All right, so we have all this for f of a plus h. So we are going to take f of a plus h. We're going to subtract. You could do this way as well. You could subtract uh, the f of a terms vertically because we know that all the f of a terms will actually cancel out. And so why did I make this a plus 5? I made it a plus 5 because originally it was a minus 5. But we are subtracting that minus 5, so it becomes a plus. And so we have 8a squared canceling. We have a's canceling. We have negative 5 canceling with positive 5. And what are we left with? 16ah plus 8h squared plus h, still all over h. And then we can cancel an h from each of these. When we cancel an h from this last h here, keep in mind there's it basically, it doesn't all just go away, but it leaves us with a one. So what we're left with is 16a plus 8h plus one. So a little rough on this sec second example, um, but going through it kind of quickly is kind of was the goal. So um, if you have any questions, though, please let me know. Hopefully this example's helped out.